usually when I'm at this part of town I take one of those trams straight home but today because it feels very nice there's a light drizzle I guess you could call it of a rain happening and I'm feeling like yeah I feel like I should walk down the riverside that way so I'm walking down the green road all the way to I forgot the name of the area like behind the observatory where my place is it's not important uh, and this this video is not that much about me being a musician but it is about music however it is also about my master thesis something that I think I've been I think I've been droning on for quite some time now in different videos so let's get a recap two almost two and a half years ago I moved to France I did not have any specific plans I did know I want to pursue something within my education my education is in literature and culture specifically as it pertains to English language uh, when I finished my mandatory like language courses a couple years ago I applied for a variety of masters as well as a variety of bachelors um, I'm 34 35 now so I was not super counting on the bachelors letting me in due to maybe possibly age restrictions I don't know I did get two admissions I got I believe the second year of bachelors and third year of bachelors for applied linguistics and didactics and I got a rejection for the master of the same of the same field through miracles that I spoke of in a different video I was able to um, convince the admissions committee and the jury to give me a chance to um, let me let me let me be a part of the master program and I promised that I would not fail them lo and behold two years later I am at the tail end of my masters and in France as well as I'm assuming many many parts of the world the second year of master you're required to write a master thesis which is like this um, somewhat large document where you choose a specific topic in the field that you know you can contribute to you either do an analysis of everything that's been done before which is called a meta-analysis you try to research something to show the significance and the effect of something on something in a quantitative way meaning big number go up or down or qualitative meaning um, how would people describe things I'm I am paraphrasing and I'm simplifying things because this isn't this isn't this is not an educational video so this these are the options that you can have when you are researching now generally speaking when it comes to research and masters it doesn't really matter that much because usually master research master thesis is supposed to be considered as some kind of a gateway to PhD if you want to continue the real education whatever you want to call it the advanced education and not a lot of people take the master thesis and the master research that seriously and I understand that being one of them myself however there is a specific quota of quality and um, like realness and like scientific value that you're trying to you're trying to pursue you're trying to follow right so what am I doing what's going on and why suddenly a video about science because most of my videos are, pri are primarily about music let's wrap I am getting very very close to the riverbed to the riverside which is awesome I never liked nature but when it's when it's raining there's petrichor there's like all the good vibes i like it anyway uh, now what am i doing why is this video being made primarily i am making this video because i want to talk about this 
with someone. And uh, other than that, I think it's going to be an interesting uh, document for myself to look at once I've finished and once everything is over to see like to see my own path it's like a reflection it's like a reflection piece now um, originally what I wanted to do like at its base I wanted to see if there is any specific merit any specific positive effect any specificity when it comes to using music as a language learning tool specifically here in France meaning uh, for a wide wide variety of people English is their second or third languages so the idea was all right, let's see if we can use music obviously music with words like lyrics and everything so can so um, classical stuff and um, scat jazz or music without like instrumental songs they're out of the picture and so my focus was on what is considered to be I hate this word so much but mainstream music let's see if we can uh, find any specific relation between using and um, actively using music as a fun activity and passively try to learn this is called um, this is called incidental learning when you use something completely different to teach something in a, in a passive manner so that people don't know they're active they're actively participating in something also who cool think shipyard this is a b-roll of a of a shipyard i don't know what it is but i just like ships and anchors so much um any 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 real research any in any field begins with you looking at what's behind you looking at what has what's been done in the field what have others tried to rain is, rain is getting up oh, look. You look back and to see uh, what other researchers have done in this field. We call this literature review. And you look at what literature is available and you say, all right, what I want to do has probably been done with a much better uh, like level of scientific purpose because it might have been a published article and that sometimes means that the quality of the job is way higher than a student project or um, you look at everything that's available and you realize all right I can use the ideas that were presented in page 9 of this research and page 20 of this research to come up with my own personal approach and that is the key word here personal approach your research is something that you're doing yourself it is an individual project you're not trying to create a uh, uh, you don't turn to copy and paste other people's works and label them as your own other than that being super criminal and plagiarist It's just not fun at least to me as a creative person So the idea is to create a personal approach to see what we can do While the face of God So there, there I was taking a look at I think by now must have been hundreds of pages of documents of um, researchers whose uh, whose researches have been on this specific thing. So I looked at a bunch of different people, different projects, different pe different everything, and the thing that came up to me is most of these researches, most of these really really well carried out projects there's absolutely no problem with their scientificity is that a word they're very scientifically accurate is what i'm trying to say they focused on all right how many numbers of words have students learned by doing these vocabulary tests or these interviews with them so the idea is to see what is like the number of expressions or vocabulary or idioms all that like if we can say that all right that student has now is using two more new words from zero that means two more new words have been taught therefore using music using tv series in those researches using any sort of authentic documents other than the book itself 
other than the class's manuals themselves, that, cre that clearly creates this situation where you can say, all right, there is a positive effect, significant effect, negative effect. But that's, uh, that's what's been done in the past. My focus is uh, on a little different keyword. That keyword is perception. What do the students feel like they are learning? If at all, if anything at all. And this, this was, this was what I was missing on. Because when I started researching, I realized what I want to do is a mini version of what all of these researchers have been doing. So the reality showed itself as a missing word. And that word was perception. And so my baseline of this research is to try and very nicely and probably accurately define the concept of perception first. What do we mean when we say the perception of learning a language? That's an important part because it actually builds into um, the next part. And secondly, how can we show the positive or the negative effects on someone's perception of their language because as you probably know everybody's different everybody learns differently and there's not a single method or a single approach that works for an entire group and so like a few months in well not a few months like, a, like several weeks into the research, I realized that this is, this is probably wrong. I'm looking at this the wrong way. And so what we tried to do, my uh, supervisors, Kurul and I, we talked and we realized, okay, so the best way for doing this is to like create some sort of an experiment where the, the students don't shouldn't feel stressed like a real exam to avoid any sort of influence on the results. There's this thing, I, uh, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but there's this thing called the Hawthorne effect in psychology where when you know you're being tested, you deliberately try to represent something from yourself that is not the real you. Anyway. To avoid all of these things, um, I chose, originally the, the idea was to create 10, to choose 10 songs and to have these songs, the lyrics printed out with specific words that could, these words could be used within a uh, average language level context so as to not create any specific knowledge gaps and have the students listen to the to, to the songs twice and in be between the two playthroughs or listen throughs uh, i would explain the context of the song the artist the the genre any cool fact about that music that could possibly give them a good feeling like this is the most famous blah blah this is and that could possibly, you know, build into uh, um, their perception, which was awesome because every few weeks I also did an interview with them and I talked to them one on one in English or in French, whatever they wanted. And um, I'm, I haven't, I haven't fully completed analyzing the data. However, I like everything that I'm seeing right now. It it gives me. It gives me all the happy, happy, feely feels. And so this is the idea of my research. Not that anyone asked. And that brings me to today. Uh, I'm recording this early in May of 2024. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think the previous video that I have uploaded I think it must have been something about music or street music or something. And if anybody is 
watching my videos in succession first why are you lost but second i think they're gonna freak out they're gonna think i'm losing my mind or something the point is as i've said it before i'm kind of a jack of all trades i kind of try to be everything that i can be because i feel like i've lost some time of my life during the the pandemic years and a little before it due to some personal issues and depression and all that and so once i'm out of my cocoon for lack of a better word i feel like i have all of this untapped potential inside me that i like to be well tapped and see what what can come out of it which is the reason why i am doing all of these things oftentimes in parallel at the same time which is very strange because i i'm not used to having done nine projects ongoing at the same time it feels very unique it feels very special i like it but at the same time it is very uh it's very demanding which is why i like making these videos because it kind of puts me out of my comfort zone and definitely out of my own home because sitting behind a bunch of screens and typing and reading and writing is fun but at some point you kind of need to get out taking the fresh air just relax your brain i know i'm talking about the same things that i'm nagging about in this video but i'm not this is not really a naggy naggy whiny whiny situation it's just a, it's just one of those videos where i feel like i had something to tell you or I had something to say in general when i'm doing it and i think this is going to be the end of this video if you've been following along this i'm sorry <laughs> that's a joke I, I like my science and i like my research and i like music and i like learning and i like languages very much so finding a way to mingle and marry all of them together is really a dream come true for me but more on the details of this research maybe in a different video maybe after my defense session if i ever get to that day which should be in what just seven weeks eight weeks that's scary very scary i'll wish you good luck as always stay safe and stay sane i will be seeing you very soon peace